Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at how to remove not only distortions caused by the lens, but also perspective distortions in our photographs. So in the develop module, in the lens correction panel, in the basic panel, there are two options that we'll want to make sure that we check on. One is to enable the profile corrections, and the second is to remove chromatic aberration. The Enable Profile Corrections actually removes the distortion from the lens that I was using. And the Remove Chromatic Aberration will help if there are any misaligned pixels, especially around the edges of our images in high contrast areas. It'll go ahead and help to adjust those so that they're in alignment. Now if I want more information about either of these options, I can click where it says Profile and Lightroom will show me the profile that it selected based on the make and model of the camera that I was using. If we go over to the color area, we can see this is where we could increase the amount of defringing or chromatic aberration that we could remove. Now let's return back to the basic panel because I also want to talk about correcting perspective in an image. There are four different upright modes that we can choose from. The first one is auto, and you can see that it tries to automatically upright any buildings, removing any of the distortion based on the perspective from which the photograph was taken. Let's go ahead and turn that off for a moment. If I simply want to level the image, I can choose the level option. If I want to make sure that all of my vertical lines are vertical, then we will click the vertical option. So the difference between the vertical and the auto option is that the auto option is typically a little bit more gentle in the correction so that it looks a little bit more natural, whereas the vertical assures that all of the lines in your image will be vertical. If I wanted to apply a full perspective, I can do this, but in the case of this image, it looks a little bit odd because it just wasn't meant to be a photograph that was taken straight on. But it's nice to know that Lightroom can do this. If I wanted to constrain the crop, I could check that on so that we don't have that extra white space around my image, but you can see how much it actually cropped off. If I select the Crop tool, the reason it cropped so much is because it constrained it using the aspect ratio of the original image. Now because my aspect ratio is unlocked here, I could go ahead and readjust this so that we could include more of the image. When I tap Return or Enter, we can see the results, but I actually don't want to make that drastic of a change. So I'll uncheck the Constrain Crop scroll down and return back to the auto option here and then using the crop tool I'll reset the crop. Now if you have an image that has a person in it, sometimes using these automatic perspective tools can either stretch or flatten an individual. So you might want to go over to the manual area and then use the aspect slider in order to correct for any perspective that might be looking a little bit wrong in the final image. In addition, if you're using a lens and camera combination that we don't have a default profile for, you can always come in this manual area and make the changes yourself. Finally, I'll return back to where it says basic, and I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut. In this case, it's Command Option O or Control Alt O on Windows in order to display a grid over our image. And if I hold down the command key and I click on the size option, I can change the size of the grid making it smaller or larger. And if I click and drag over the word opacity, we can make it either less or more opaque, making it more or less visible. To toggle that off, I'll just hold down command option O again and hide that overlay. So there you have it, an easy way to remove the distortions in your image caused by your lens as well as correct any perspective distortion in images. My name is Julianne Cost. Thanks for joining me.